The SUV craze in India is seeing the emergence of a new battlefront, the three-row vehicle market. The segment already has some established players and now there's a new one in the form of Hyundai who's entering this new battlefront with the Alcazar. We've already had a chance to get behind the wheel of a prototype and give you some details, but now Hyundai has officially unveiled the car and here is everything you need to know about it. The Hyundai Creta is an extremely successful product for the South Korean automaker and expanding it to include the third row is pretty much what has been done across the segment. You get the Creta's low set headlamps with LED DRLs and a new premium chrome grille on the Alcazar. Design of the fog lamps and the indicators are new and give the car a more family appeal as compared to the Creta. Move over to the side and you can see the extended length of the Alcazar thanks to the design of the thick D-pillar, extended rear doors and heavily flared wheel arches. This is the first car in the Hyundai India range to sport 18-inch wheels and they come with this diamond cut petal pattern. However, this is expected to be offered only on the top spec models. The rear profile of the Alcazar is quite different from that of the Creta. Where the latter has got teardrop shaped lights, this one sports a more conventional rectangular design with a large chrome strip connecting both ends. There's a four bash plate element and a rear spoiler as a part of the rear design elements for the Alcazar. Hyundai has fitted the Alcazar with a brown and black cabin and it will be offered in both 6 and 7 seat configurations across both engine options. The layout is quite similar to that of the Creta. There are a lot of familiar elements like the steering wheel, infotainment system screen, dashboard and even the full digital instrument cluster that have been carried over from the Creta. Move over to the second row and you can see that in the 6 seat layout you get a full size center armrest with cup holders, seat back tray tables and AC vents. The 7 seat layout gets a bench with an integrated armrest but no seat back tables. It is only available in the prestige and platinum trims across both fuel options. The third row seats fold flat and in the 6 seat models can be accessed via a one touch tip and tumble function for the second row. Hyundai themselves have claimed that the third row is best suited to children, teenagers or if adults travel only for short journeys. Hyundai has said that the Alcazar has a wheelbase of 2760mm which is 150mm more than that of the Creta and is the highest in the segment. The Hyundai Alcazar will be offered across three trim levels, Prestige, Platinum and Signature along with two engine and transmission options. There are six single tone colour schemes and two dual tone colour schemes. The feature list on the top of the line signature models includes climate control with rear vents, touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 8-way power driver's seat, drive modes, Bose sound system, panoramic sunroof, rear sun blinds, seat back tray tables, ventilated seats for the first row, puddle lamps and 64 shade ambient lighting. In terms of safety, we expect the Alcazar to mirror the Creta and this means in the top spec model, you get 6 airbags, ABS with EBD, hill start assist, stability program as well as a tyre pressure monitoring system. The Hyundai Alcazar will be offered with both petrol and diesel power. Petrol engine is Hyundai's new third generation 2 litre 4 cylinder unit that produces 156 bhp and 191 nm of torque. It can be had with either a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. Hyundai claims a 0 to 100 kmph time of less than 10 seconds. This is the first car in the Indian market from the Hyundai stable to make use of this engine and it is expected to find its way into both the Elantra and the Tucson in the future. The diesel, on the other hand, is Hyundai's 1.5-litre four-cylinder unit producing 113 bhp and 250 nm of torque. It can also be had with either a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic. We've recently had a chance to drive a pre-production prototype of the Hyundai Alcazar and you can find a link to that video in the description below.
The Hyundai Alcazar will be launched in the Indian market on 18 June and will take on the likes of the Tata Safari, MG Hector Plus and the Mahindra XUV500. It is expected to be priced in the range of Rs 15 lakh to Rs 19 lakh. For all the details on the Hyundai Alcazar, do visit our website www.carwale.com.